let us tell you a story about a young, grief-stricken mother and widow who channeled her sorrow into a mission to serve others and help the poor in her community. And how that community continued to grow and expand for generations. And how her compassion toward those in need forged a bond that is still strong in alive today. A stroll through Covington, Kentucky today will take you through charming neighborhoods full of people, restaurants, coffee shops, taverns, parks, and views. But in 1861, as a boom of German and Irish immigrants settled the area, combined with the challenges of upcoming war engulfing the country, poverty became a big issue. The poor of Covington needed help. It came out of the sorrow of Henrietta Cleveland. She had lost her husband and children. She turned her sorrow into a project of helping the poor and helping the sick. She reached out to the Bishop of Covington, Bishop Carroll, and a wealthy social activist, Sarah Worthington, to raise more than $2,000 to build the hospital. They recruited the Sisters of St. Francis of the Poor to help staff the hospital. And so with those three sisters and with a building on 7th Street, they opened the doors in January of 1861. Northern Kentucky had its first hospital named after St. Elizabeth of Hungary. The poor and sick finally had a helping hand. And good thing too, because the region was getting bigger by the day. By the early 20th century, the population of Covington was so large that construction of a new state-of-the-art hospital was needed. The St. Elizabeth North Unit opened on 21st Street in Covington in 1914. It operated for the next 100 years, becoming known affectionately to associates, doctors, patients, and the community as the Old North. It was in these early days that St. Elizabeth sowed its purpose and mission, compassionate care and service to its community. As we moved from a very poor city of Covington, the hospital also grew with it. I think the growth of St. Elizabeth through the years is that we've continued to listen to the needs of our community. And probably the only thing that's changed is the, uh, the impact and the number of people that we're able to, to care for. The next century would see the maturation of the region and greater and greater emphasis on the role of healthcare in society. By the turn of the millennium, Northern Kentucky knew two prominent healthcare systems, St. Elizabeth, which at the time had facilities in Edgewood, Covington, and Grant County, and St. Luke, which then operated facilities in Falmouth, Fort Thomas, and Florence. In 2008, they pulled resources and expertise to better serve the community they shared and become St. Elizabeth Healthcare. One of the things we found out shortly after the merger, we were identical organizations that were just competing with each other. The people within the walls um, wanted to do what we do well, and that is take care of, of each other and take care of um, the community. Not long after the formation of St. Elizabeth Healthcare, two successful area physician groups, Summit Medical Group and Patient First, became St. Elizabeth Physicians. It's all about caring for people, so I think those two groups coming together and then others following just set a foundation for this healthcare system to flourish. Now featuring 165 practices across Northern Kentucky, Southeastern Indiana, and Southwestern Ohio, St. Elizabeth Physicians is considered one of the nation's best healthcare delivery organizations. We are going out and being proactive and trying to make sure people are well, and the AMGA recognized us for that and um, awarded the Sea Acclaim Award. It's really recognizing the top organized medical group in the country. When your vision is to lead the communities you serve to become the healthiest in America, you have to circle cancer in big red ink. In October 2020, years of dreaming and planning finally came to fruition in the form of the St. Elizabeth Cancer Center. Our 250,000 square foot, six story, multidisciplinary facility can treat nearly 500 patients per day offering cancer detection, diagnosis, and care all under one roof. It really speaks for the commitment of this organization to this community. It's really good to be working in an organization which not only has the latest and the greatest of many aspects of medicine, but also have the heart to make sure what they're doing is right in terms of what the community needs. This is what um, 
you know, raising the bar to the next level means you don't have to travel to get good health care. You don't have to get on a plane and fly to get what we'll be able to provide you here in this building. I would hope that they really have felt the, the commitment to their care, uh, the commitment to outstanding treatment, and that they've really seen us as being a partner in the journey. St. Elizabeth has grown up alongside our community for generations to become a regional leader, combining a magnet-recognized nursing team and an elite medical staff of 1,200 physicians and providers. You know, I think St. Elizabeth's future is bright. Uh, we're always going to make the decisions that are long-term. Our most recent with Dearborn County, we're going to uplift and get people in southeastern Indiana excited about what we're doing in southeastern Indiana. Um, that's our goal, and so we're going to build a new hospital in that community. We're going to build a new cancer center in that community. Uh, and we're going to uplift uh, that community just um, the same we've, as we've done in Northern Kentucky. From groundbreaking COVID-19 clinical trials to pioneering orthopedics procedures to advanced heart and stroke care to one of the nation's premier multi-specialty medical groups. St. Elizabeth today brings the very best care to our patients, families, friends, and neighbors. And when we face something serious, we rally and face it lockstep, arm in arm, together. This pandemic has been the most horrible thing I have ever experienced in my lifetime, and I'm sure in many others. It has really stressed and strained every single person in this world, directly or indirectly. Everyone has been affected. It has also proved that in the, in, in the sense of such a crisis, in the wake of such an eventuality, people can actually think beyond themselves and come together. Well, I, I think with COVID, it's been the hardest year and a half or, or so uh, that we've had. I think what I've seen is the dedication. I think I've seen people sacrifice remarkably to take care of folks. One of the things that is just unbelievable to, to witness is how well St. Elizabeth Healthcare uh, came together and how well we partnered with this community. Everybody, top to bottom on our team, stepped up to make that happen. Um, and that's, that, I'll never forget that. You know, the people we take care of every day at St. Elizabeth, they're our friends, they're our neighbors, and they're our family. They only deserve the best, and I think that's what we strive to provide each and every day, and that's what makes me proud. I really see that even the next 50 years, we'll still be talking about how we started and where we started from. We won't forget that, that beginning. We'll keep that legacy, but we'll continue to advance and adapt and meet the needs of our community. I can see us always being aware of the advances in medical science, but maintaining the values of the dream of Henrietta Cleveland. I think we will be the best in the state. I think we'll be the best in this region of the country. I think you'll see our services continue to grow. I think you'll see more people from outside our area want to come here for care. I think you'll see more top-notch providers, physicians, who say they want to work at St. Elizabeth because of the things we do. So I see a very bright future. We are going to continue to do everything we can to work with our community, to work with our staff and associates, to ask ourselves, how can we continue to care for those in need? What do we need to do? We are not going to pause. We are going to continue to further the mission of our hospital. And that is truly inspiring. Here's to a healthier, even better next 160 years.